Hello everyone. Welcome to UA Pass Tutorials. In the previous session, we learned how to use execute macro activity. In this session, we are going to learn how to use invoke VBA activity using UA Pass Studio. Before going to start this session, let me start with the scenario. In the previous session, we have seen how to use macro tool for record and playback uh, purpose for each and every step that we have to record and to play back whenever we want. The main purpose of that is that we are going to uh, automate the toss which we want to do. Now in this session we are going to invoke the VBA. First of all we will see what is VBA. VBA stands for Visual Basic for Applications. So what is the use of this one? If you see on my screen that I'm having a an Excel sheet with the student names and respective marks, respective student marks in their subjects. Correct? Now, if you see, I have given total marks as some of the marks of the subjects, and then I have calculated as some, and then you know this is the sum of the marks that what we got it. But let assume if there is this is the formula already exists. If you see the formula, I am having sum of C2 to H2. Now let assume there are some of the complex applications which I can't do by using these internal formulas. Okay, you can find when I'm going to click equal to over here. And then if you see the sum, if you see there's a lot of, in, uh, you can see this intelligence, there's a lot of formulas that we have. Now, by doing these formulas, if you can't go ahead and then you can't resolve the problem, how can you go ahead and do that? You can do that by using VB script. Now, I will show you the same kind of small example. I will take it over here. I want to sum of the marks I have to do, which I'm going to pause the data and then I know I'm going to sum of the marks and then I'm going to show it. It's a small example, but still I'm going to show you by using visual basic script that is VB script because of over here that we can see all the scripts over here. Now, how can I go ahead and develop, uh, go for the developer tools by using Alt F11. If you click Alt F11, you can see Microsoft Visual Basic for the student marks. Over there, you can go ahead and you can write view code. You can see the code if you have already, then you can go ahead and you can write the code. Okay, now the same thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to write it in the notepad. It's a simple function I will write, function of sum of marks. I will write the uh, method name as sum of the marks. So what is the sum of the marks I have to do? I have to pass the parameters at subject one. I'm going to take it as integer. Okay, this is the uh, visual basic code. Don't worry about all these things. If you want to in no you just go ahead in future you just use this method only don't worry about that okay just i'm going to explain you i'm just i'm going to copy paste it and then i will go ahead and edit it six subjects that i'm going to enter over here and then what i'm going to do i'm going to give some of the marks i'm going to take the same uh, no method as a variable and the sum of the marks equal to sub one plus I'm going to give the integer right so that I'm just you know to type it very fast I'm just making copy paste subject two three four five and finally six okay what I'm going to do, I have given six parameters for the method that I can say function. And I'm going to all the six parameters that I'm going to add it and I'm going to make it as some of the marks. And then I'm going to end this function and function. This is the VB script, simple script. I'm going to save it, control S. In my, you know, the project that what I'm going to do, I'm going to save this as some of the marks. But the format is, in VB script, right? That's the reason VB, yes. Visual basic script that I'm going to give it and then I'm going to save it. 
Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to call the same sum of the marks over here. How can I go ahead and do that? Let me go to the file, import file, go into the path, and you can see I'm going to select all the files. And then you can see over here, sum of the marks. Now, let us assume this is the complex code that I am having. You can see over here under modules, under module one, you got the same thing. Now, let us assume this is the complex code that what you have, you can't resolve these things by using the uh, Excel. Okay, now let me copy this. I'm going to save this. Now, if you see what I'm going to do, I'm going to say as simply marks over here. Okay, now whenever you are going to click on equal to and sum, you can see the sum of the marks over here. Previously, it was not there. Now, once you have done it, you can see all the things over here. What are the parameters that you need to pass? All the parameters you can pass it. C1, comma, D2, comma, E3. I need to pass six parameters, right? You can see all the six, six parameters over here. And then if you see, I'm going to click on enter. Now you can see the marks over here. 554, the same as the marks which we have given. This is how you are going to call the VB script using in the Excel. Now I hope you understand that one. Now if you see, I'm going to drag and drop all these things, what will happen? The same kind of formula, the complex formula which we have given, we have invoked over here in the remaining cells also. This is how we are going to invoke a formula or the VB script or VB application related in the Excel. Now using the same thing we'll do in our UA Pass Studio. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a new sequence once again, add sequence. I'm going to say simply invoke VBA and I'm going to create. Now let me go to activities. If you see under processing, you will find invoke VBA. This invoke VBA activity only works inside the Excel application scope. If you see, when I mouse over on that, you can see load and execute VBA code into a workbook. This will be trusted access to VBA project object must be enabled. So that's the mean in the Excel, there's the trusted access to, uh, to the VBA also is there. Let me show you that one also. Let me go to over here under Excel options, you can find trusted center under trust center settings that you will find macro setting. Under macro enabled setting, you have to give trust access to VBA project object model. You have to select this checkbox and then click on OK. And OK, once again, this is trust enabled VBA access. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to first of all, this invoke VBA will be applied only in Excel application scope, inside the application scope. Let me drag and drop. Now I'm going to select the path of the Excel. I'm going to select student marks. Now our main intention of this session is to, to invoke, to work with the invoke VBA. Let me drag and drop this invoke VBA inside the application, Excel application scope. If you apply outside of that, it won't work it out. If you see, this is the error that we will get it. You can see value for the required activity argument was not supplied. Activity is valid inside the Excel application scope. Let me drag and drop into the Excel application scope. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to learn about the properties of the invoke VBA. Now, if you see, I'm going to check the properties. First, the code file path. The full path of the text that containing necessary VBA, that whatever the VBAs that you have, you're going to uh, call this one. Where we are having this one in our application, you can find this path that is related to the VB script. Directly, we can go ahead and browse it over here. I can see some of the marks over here. Now, you can see over here, entry method name, which method we have to give it. You can see by default, there is the main, right? But if you see in our Excel, what we are having, some of the marks, right? Let me go that and I'm going to copy the same method, right? And I'm going to copy this. 
Now I'm going to give the method name over here. This is same as the macros you have seen that one, right? In the macros that we have given the parameters like method name and method parameters and output value. These are the same for the same thing, right? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to give the sum of the marks over here. Let me give as 99, 97, 94, 95, 96, 91, the sum of the marks. Okay, the some of the parameters that have given the parameters that have given over there and the output I'm going to what are the output that I'm going to give control K now I will say output of the marks right output marks and then I'm going to click on enter now this is the file path you can see the text full path to the text that contain necessary VBA function that is nothing but VB script that we have given over here and then entry method name, what is the method name that we have to call in the particular script, that is VBS script. And we are going to pass the parameters, what are the parameters is required. Now we are going to calculate the sum of the marks, right? So that I have given the parameters. You can see six parameters. And once you got the output, I'm going to store it in the output value. Now let me go to the variables. You can see the variables. It has been stored in the object format. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to display the sum of the marks using message box. Let me go to activities. Now I'm already having my message box in my recent. Let me drag and drop this message box. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to display sum of marks. Plus what is the output? Output marks dot to sing now let me go and save the bot now let me explain you again i'm using excel application scope to invoke the vba and i have selected the student marks which we are having which we need to calculate and then what i'm going to do in invoke vba activity i'm first of all i'm going to sum of the marks that i'm going to do it and then that sum of the marks uh, you know that VBS I have passing the parameters with the method name and method parameters and the output I have given now the message box in the message box what are the output that we got it after concatenating with the message that I'm going to show in the output before going to run the bot let me explain you one small thing what are the Excel that you're going to select this that should be macros enabled nothing but you have to save that and you have to be that excel has to be macro enabled okay now let me go ahead let me run the bot now if you see the sum of the marks is 572 what are the input that you have given the parameters that the sum of the marks we got it as a 572 by using the method sum of the marks is the method and then that we have used the script some of the marks dot pbs script and then the output has been stored and it has given in the format of integer okay now i hope you understand how to invoke vba by using invoke vba activity in this ui path now i will give you one exercise now we have seen how to uh, use this VB script in UI path, right? Just write another method with the percentage and then call the same, uh, you know, call the same function over here in invoke VB script and then find it out the percentage of the marks that you got it. I hope you understand how to use invoke VB activity. Thank you for watching UI path tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice day.